For over half a century, human beings have been actively launching spacecraft and satellites into space, often without considering what happens to the remaining debris or how to remove inactive satellites from crowded orbits. This impressive density of objects in low Earth orbit, as well as the accumulating amount of inactive satellites in space, leads to an increased risk of collision between them. Considering that the satellites travel at high speeds of 28,000 km an hour, collision with these space objects, despite their small size, can cause severe damage due to the impressive velocity. Two objects, when they collide in space with very high velocities, can create a lot of more debris and these uh, pieces of debris become like bullets flying around in space, which can eventually hit anything that is flying in near space. While the general public may have heard of the issue of space debris only recently, the threat of collisions has already led the International Space Station to change its orbit twice in order to avoid debris. So astronauts working in space are affected by the danger of collisions, but also by active satellites responsible for the regulation of much of our navigation and communication systems. The European Union and the European Space Agency play a vital role in developing a deorbit and space debris mitigation technology both for European spacecraft and spacecraft developed by uh, other countries across the world. For example, one of our projects, the Orbit Sail, which is funded by the EU, by the Commission, is looking at techniques to put very large ultralight structures um, like solar sails to remove pieces of space debris in a very passive manner. So you use drag to remove them. Uh, however, Europe has a number of leading technologies and institutions which can bring strong capabilities together and it could possibly take the lead in this area. It is in one sense an opportunity for Europe. If we can develop a deorbit technology which we can sell to other countries, then it is a bonus for European industry. The European Commission is committed to the funding of research projects aimed at the monitoring, mitigation and removal of space debris to ensure our way of life and also to ensure that those humans working in space are protected from such a real threat.